What up guys, it's your girl Mena Meeks and I am back with more Doom Patrol. We are on Season 3, Episode 8. If you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here, you're here. Let's video together down below in the description box and to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Mena Meeks and over there, full-length version of my reaction as well as YouTube clear and select early access series. And I also have a merch shop with t-shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, all types of things, original designs on them. So if you want to support me monetarily, those are your two options. I got my Patreon and I got my merch shop, but you don't have to support me monetarily, you can support me free entirely. How? You may ask. Subscribe. Why? Biatch, it's free. It literally costs zero dollars to hit the description bell, hit the notification, hit the description button, notification bell to be notified of my videos for free. I thought about that. I was like, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, wait. Wrong. Oh, allergy medicine for the win. Boy, I tell you. Mm -mm -mm. But last time on Doom Patrol, we got the rest of the story on what happened with Lord DeMille and the sisterhood of Dada, and it's just a whole host of problems. We now know that Laura, she actually did turn traitor because she, I don't know why she did it. Because she wanted to advance in the company because it was getting suspicious. I think also, I think mostly because the suspicion was on her for not sending uh, the people in the mailroom to the weapon side of the Bureau of Normalcy and I feel bad for her but I more so feel bad for them because they were they were hung out to dry they lost a friend because of it that's how he died that's why he was where he was um and what happened to Rita hadn't happened yet so he didn't know her this that's this is why time traveling is so strange. But um we also got to see that Cyborg is making a pretty big decision in trying to have his cybernetics removed. Um in on Jane's side of stuff, Jane is trying to do her best to support Kay, but the other um personalities are kind of worried about being permanently killed or removed, so they prefer to keep Kay the way she is so that they can have a chance to stay alive which <clears throat> if it wasn't for k you guys wouldn't be here in the first place you want k to be better don't you ain't that what you want you don't you want k to be better but um that's either here nor there um and cliff is doing stupid Cliff is addicted to everything in the sun. He's using everybody else's stuff. He's he's selling their stuff to make money to put into a game, to play online poker, and to talk to a cam girl. I'm like, bro, this is stupid. Like, people need to be watching Cliff. I understand they got their own things, but people need to be watching Cliff. This is dumb. Cliff is doing dumb stuff. Um, and when Jane got back and found out that she sold... Uh, excuse me. That he sold all of her records and all of her workout tapes which from the other personality uh, she flipped out and sent him to his daughter's house where he was having trouble taking care of baby because you know a he is wired out of his mind b he's so focused on trying to get more money so that he can um spend it on the cam girl and like the game he's playing that he's just not focusing on what needs to be done and then we have larry who threw up a thing a cocoony a thing and threw it up and i don't know i don't know <laughs> so on that note let's go ahead and jump into season three episode eight of doom patrol subconscious patrol Oh yeah, and we got to see kind of what the Sisterhood of Dada wanted to do. The Great Flagellation. Is it birds and shit? I don't know. Maybe. This memory. Why didn't you put it back where it was? Why didn't you put it back where it was? your hands off of my son he's damaging property he's looking for a toy let's see what the cops say am i going to jail dad look i will pay for whatever the damage is first of all you shouldn't have thrown him on the floor like why would you throw him on the floor are you gonna leave him on the floor 
I just wanted a black superhero toy. I made a mistake. We don't get to make mistakes. Nope. One mistake. Yup. I don't get why he was throwing him on the floor. I'm gonna go apologize to the store manager. I'm not apologizing to nobody, number one. Number two, just don't throw shit on the floor. <laughs> like, that's all that is. Bruh. Oh, she's cute. Is that Jane? What the fuck? Or is that K? Stop fucking around. The deal. We're in K subconscious. I thought we're always in K subconscious. Holy fuck! What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> well, it pains me to say this, but you look fucking awesome. Bro. Moisturizer. <laughs> Where's your thinky? Oh, he's getting married. No? Good luck, Cheryl and Larry. Love, Sally and Graham. We needed more than luck, didn't we? Gone. You are subconscious beings, so you have not had the pleasure of meeting me. I'm Rita Farr. Er we flagellating or are we getting revenge the world will flagellate i'm getting mine <laughs> mom you do understand right i'm not him he's not here let your sins live in the past you have to make a break from all those moral things that you that child this is I'm gay, mother. It's who I am. I have prayed over this, Larry. Well, pray some more. Keep praying. Can you love me for who I am? Why is that so hard? In my heart, I know that you don't want to bring shame to my life and your father's. Me, 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 my. Me, me, my. That's where Larry learned it from. Wait, I thought she killed your lover boy and you want revenge. Yeah, that too. Right, just wait a minute. This is not what we do. I'm a sub. I don't clean up messes. <laughs> in a field 30 years ago with no memory of who I was or what I believed art saved my life you destroyed it and I hope you burn in hell hmm. so is she still there what the hell was that um, don't even you can't turn back you're on a mission actually you are on a mission right we're just visiting I'm warning you, there's nothing back there but more truth and self-loathing. What are you gonna do, ma'am? Who's the king? Who's the king? I'm the fucking king! Okay. Carl, what? So are, are their subconscious gonna have to Girl, figure this out, out or... Will they figure it out? Aren't we all? Oh. Fuck this Freaky Friday shit! Yeah, that's not even close to Freaky Friday. <laughs> you wanna get out of here or not? Yes. How? Through that spiral thingy! Follow me! Go! You take too long. But then? I found race cars, and that was my ticket out of hell. When you come from nothing, you don't know what to do with something that you get. Truth. People started treating me differently.
I mean, once you get a taste of special, mm, there's no turning back. Track. I didn't sign that was an empty puck, but I was a king. And this king decapitated his wife. <laughs> Shove that underground avenue sign up your ass. That one. That's Jane. Where are we? In Kay's fucking fantasy workshop where she's an adult and we're asshole puppets. <laughs> Just wait till she gotta put her down. Just wait. That's it. Jane goes off to leave us with a mess. Again. No. Not again. Never again. This this show is amazing. What the um, who wants a piece of stripper cake? Oh my god, they're eating the stripper mom? cake. Yeah, I saw mom. Fuck that lady. <laughs> said the things I should have said. Are you blaming me? Bruh! Are you saying I should have said something else? No. You should have. You should have done something else. Come on. Then why do stop being a bitch? What? I got news for you. I'm from the day that you hid from love. That's why you secretly like those bandages. They give you an excuse to keep people away. Mm. One step at a time. You could have been with your man. Myself. Yeah. You could have been with your man. You could have man you're been with. Every moment of it. Every day. Just make it worth what I'm going through. Can you do that? I can try. Every day. From dusk until dawn, I leave my daughter in the car so that I can go do some blow and cozy up to a stripper. Every fucking day. I say, fuck you, to fatherhood, because fatherhood doesn't make me feel special. Damn. Why did I have to stop living because I stuck my dick in a hole? I want to feel special too! You know, at some point the party's got to stop. Uh-huh. I, mean, I may be stuck on a loop, but I'm not fucking blind. You're on the same track. Uh-huh. You're tripping balls on Parkinson's meds. It's like it's 1984 all over again. Uh-huh. Us. Is it worth it? Answer me! Is it worth it? Fuck you! Fuck you too! Fuck you! Fuck you! Still not answering the question. This shit is crazy. Where are you going? Why is he always running somewhere? Can he stay in one fucking spot for two fucking seconds? This dude is always running. You saw the memory I came from. Yeah. I was a child. You think uh -huh. anyone saw that? That I was a child? Oh. No. I don't think anyone saw that. Or cared. Well, I did. And on he was that a toy. day, I saw you go straight from being a 10-year-old child to a soldier, trying to please everyone, always saying the right bruh. things, never making a mistake. You that shit is tough. That's why it's so difficult. Like, bruh, like, no matter what we do, we got to make sure that we're on top of whatever we do, because if we don't, then not only is it fault for us, then we represent every single Black person in the world. We're never just Singletary's stuff.
when white people fuck up, it's, oh no, he did it by himself over there. When we fuck up, it's all y'all fucking up. That's why it's so difficult. Like you had to break out of that mold. But you still ain't got to throw the shit on the floor, dog. That's just nat. That's just clean up your messes. I am here to say, keep going. Have some fun. Find your happiness. Play. Hmm. And then you take back what was taken from you. This is crazy. Oh, God. I fucking hate when he does this. Anything to avoid dealing with something. I didn't want so a soldier. Frustrating. So? I was a fucking kid. So? He's in front of you telling you. Be you, dog. Be you. You could have got what you wanted. It's hard out here in these streets. I feel it. Everything you do just brings me more pain. And it's time for me to grow up and be on my own. Oh. I wish you would die. Damn. 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 Hello? Is that Kay? We're gonna work it out. All of us. They're all gone. Oh, thank God. Oh. I gotcha. Y'all, listen, we need to figure out what the fuck this thing is, okay? On principle, we need to figure out what the fuck this is. Because it's gross. All right, it's gross. But what is it? No, oh, he looks so much older. Okay, now what you gonna be? You're not cyborg, you gotta be Vic. Well, where's Rita? Bruh, this is, this is episode was like, I feel like these last these next couple episodes, just like the last maybe two or three, I've just been sitting here like listening. Listening to what everybody is going through. Everybody is going through some major fucking shit. And everybody was avoiding, except for Jane. I, I don't know if Jane knew because she's just part of a whole. But everybody else was avoiding their shit like nobody's business. You know Cliff is king avoidance. That's his thing. And so was um, Larry. But what does that mean for Jane? Jane is going to have to, I mean, eventually Kay is going to be okay, right? That's the whole point is for them to work out what's going on with Kay. The powers and the abilities and stuff came from the experimentation. But if she's able to make herself mentally whole again, will she be able to use those individual powers or are they just like gone as well? That's that's something I, I want to know. Um, man, Cliff is crap. <laughs> every time, every time I think I'm like, okay, Cliff, I just feel like it's just Cliff just frustrates me so much, and it, oh, it frustrates me so much. Jeez, this is so good. It's it's so like thought provoking. So thought provoking. That's what it is. Man, and I'm almost done with this season. I have two more episodes. Oh my God, and I'm caught up. So on that note, guys, thanks for hanging with me and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is serious.